Hi there, fellow integrators. In uh, the third demo uh, on event streams, I'm going to show uh, how to uh, produce and consume uh, event stream messages, uh, but this time from AppConnect Designer. So uh, I've got a designer session uh, running, and uh, I'm going to click into Designer. So I'm going to first create a new uh, flow for an API. I'm going to create uh, this core this, uh, designer. I've got user and my model name. I'm going to design. Kafka, create a model, and just make up some fields, an ID, add a property, name, and uh, amount, amount, I'm going to make a number, I'm going to have a look at operations, uh, the operation I want to add is a create option, and then I'm going to implement this flow. Basic layout has been created for me, a request with my uh, body in there. You can see it's, it's going to generate some test data for me. Um, I'm going to click on a little plus in the middle and I want to look for my Kafka environment. Um, I'm going to create uh, a new account. And uh, I'm going to use, we know that the event streams likes to talk with uh, SASL SSL, uh, continue. Uh, the username, as in my uh, previous, uh, the first video on event streams, uh, I create uh, scram details for my event streams. So I'm going to just reuse that. So there's my scram user ID. Password is going to be my Scram password. And my broker list is uh, really the uh, Bootstrap server. I've downloaded that as well. And my security mechanism is going to be SHA-512. I uh, need a certificate uh, to include here to uh, find that uh, certificate. Uh, I need to go to my event streams world, go to connect to this cluster. Uh, you see this is where I got that other information as well, etc. But I need a PEM certificate to talk from designer. So I'm going to uh, download the certificate, save the file. Okay. So you see it's a cert PIM. Let me just save this. Uh, save that in there. And then uh, I'm going to open it. Just a notepad. I need to grab it all the way from begin all the way to end. I'm going to copy that data, close it now down, and back here I just need to paste that complete certificate in here. The rest of the data is, uh, is optional. Uh, let me connect and see if we can actually connect to event streams. Like this, uh, there's three accounts I want to connect with my account three, and uh, I'm gonna send a message. Send message to which topic? So 
you can see here that the count three is connected now, but a good test as well to see if you're really connected to there is uh, when you click down here, it will actually go and try and connect to that Kafka and retrieve the topics that has been uh, uh, we've created uh, inside the event streams. So you can see there's a few topics in here. I know I've created topic three, so I can select uh, topic three. I don't need uh, to supply a, a client ID to put data in there, but as a key information, um, um, maybe uh, I would like to have a look at that ID document. That's maybe that ID is, uh, is, is reasonably unique in there, so I can pick on ID. And for the payload, I'm just going to uh, go to all mappings. You can see here's my request, request body parameters coming in, and I'm going to just pick the complete object as my payload to go in there. As a response, um, I'm just going to return a very simple field. Uh, let me just uh, return um, from that Kafka message. Let's just return the offset uh, in there. And that is really all I need for this message to put something in there. I can say done. Uh, and I can start that flow. You can see it's busy starting. As soon as it's started, you will see there will be a test button. I can now click on test. Post designer Kafka. I can do a try it information down here. I can generate some test data. And instead of Frank Curry, let's put in Francois. And I can send the data. You can see here as an ID it's just returned me an offset, so it's an offset of 13 uh, inside my event streams. Let's have a look at uh, what is happening inside uh, my event streams. I can close down here, I can go to my topics. You know I've put something to topic 3. Look at the messages. And there at offset 13 you can see there's that latest information that's arrived there. So, the designer is working sending messages uh, to event streams. To consume this message, um, I'm going to create uh, a start this flow when there's an event, that event is a message arriving inside uh, Kafka. So I'm going to create the event driven flow. I'm going to call it designer Kafka. Consumer uh, application is going to arrive. It's going to be Kafka. I'm going to use that same account uh, I've used for the uh, producer. So I'm going to say on account three when a new message arrives. Uh, what is going to be the topic uh, if a new message arrives on topic three? And uh, I really only have to specify a group ID. I'm going to just say pick something like test1. Then uh, I'm going to send these messages to, I'm going to send it to an MQ. Um, in the MQ environment I'm going to create uh, a new account. So I'm going to say add a new account. Continue. My queue manager is uh, QM1. My queue manager host name, again, if I go in here, go to my pods, my uh, MQ is running in this one, and that first before the day zero will be my host name. Copy that. Q manager host name. In there, my listener port by default is 1414. And I only need a channel name. For the channel name, I go to my MQ console, look at communication, my app channels, and this system.dev.svrcon is going to be my channel name. Copy that and paste it in here. Connect. Okay, so for MQ, select account 4 to connect with and uh, I'm gonna what do you want to do I want to put message 
uh, on a queue. What is the queue name? I'm going back to my MQ console to queues. I'm going to use this queue too. You see there's zero messages on this queue. So my queue name is going to be Q2. My message type is just going to be a text message. And my message payload is going to be the payload from a Kafka message. That's all I need. You see it's a stopped. I can click start the flow. Okay, and that flow is running. Now to send a message of course to Kafka I need to go uh, to my dashboard and use my producer. Okay, so how do I test these messages? So uh, we need to go to our Kafka producer to produce a message. Uh, click on it. Go to the test screen. I'm doing a post. There will be a try button in there. I can generate some data in here. Instead of accepting Lewis James, let me accept uh, Francois. And I can send the message. You can see I'm coming back on uh, position 18. Thank you. If I have a look at my environments here, there is an offset 18. And you'll see that's the detail from the latest message. I can go to my MQ console. If I, you see there was five messages in the queue. If I refresh it now, now there's six messages. Go to Q2. The latest message, you see the data from so And that is uh, how you send and receive messages from event streams from designer flows. Thank you.